A well-running stock management system ensures that a health facility has the right product in the right quantity at the right time and in the right condition. When a stock management system is not working well, children and pregnant women may not be able to receive doses of critical vaccines. So, it is important to identify any problems with a stock management system, determine the root causes of the problems, and come up with solutions to them. One of the best ways to identify problems is to look at the data that has been gathered by health workers and managers. What type of data can help you identify stock management problems? You should look at these three pieces of data every month. Vaccine or supply stockout data, monthly reporting on vaccine stock, and vaccine wastage rates. The first type of data that can help you identify stock management problems is vaccine or supply stockout data. A stockout is when a health facility runs out of any one vaccine or syringe for any amount of time. If a stockout occurs, find out why. Sometimes, stockouts occur because of the way a health facility is managing its stock. For example, a health facility may have incorrectly calculated or incorrectly ordered the number of vaccines it needs. Vaccine stockouts could also be the result of avoidable high wastage rates. For example, workers may not know how to apply the multi-dose vial policy. The problem could be related to changes in the facility's target population. For example, a sudden population shift in the facility's catchment area or an influx of refugees may lead to a higher demand for vaccines. A cold chain breakdown at the facility could lead to the discarding of many vaccines. Or perhaps the health facility is experiencing a supply problem because fewer vaccines are being delivered than requested or because heavy rains have washed out the main road. Be on the lookout for any stockouts and find out more about why they happened. The second type of data that can help you identify stock management problems is the monthly report on vaccine stock. Stock management involves keeping complete and accurate records of vaccine stock and vaccine wastage. Without the records, it is difficult to identify problems. So, make sure everyone knows how to track the movement of vaccines in and out of the health facility. Monitoring a health facility's stock consumption over several months can help you estimate the seasonal amount in order to avoid stockouts. Finally, it is helpful to look at vaccine wastage rates. You can expect some level of wastage with vaccines. Sometimes, the wastage cannot be avoided, but sometimes it can be. For example, during transport, freeze-sensitive vaccines may be exposed to freezing temperatures and then need to be discarded. This type of avoidable wastage can be prevented. The key is to know what an acceptable wastage rate is for each vaccine so you are able to identify this problem. If you do notice unusually high wastage rates at the health facility level, investigate to find out why. Is the health facility appropriately applying the multi-dose vial policy? Have community information programs been conducted to bring more children for immunization so that when vials are opened, they can be used to serve more infants? There are a number of possible reasons for a high wastage rate. Keep asking why until you find the answer. By looking at these pieces of stock management data, you will become better at identifying problems and better at finding solutions that target the root of your problems.